Hi, um, today's video is about literature um, after the Civil War and through Reconstruction. And um, there's there are not a lot of stories that were written during that time um, that we can look at and go, oh wow, you know, this is this is really written for children. They just weren't writing for children in that way quite yet. We we do get to that point, but um, most of the literature during this time, right after the Civil War was, and during the Civil War, were pri was primarily what we talked about with the westward expansion with diaries. And one of the most famous writers of a diary actually came from South Carolina, Mary Boykin Chestnut. She wrote her um, book, A Diary from Dixie, that chronicles her life as a senator's wife um, through the Civil War and afterward the Civil War. And so she's very famous um, and happens to be from South Carolina. There were also a lot of slave narratives, and we know the term narrative means stories. And um, so we have a lot of accounts that, that slaves told their stories of how um, their lives changed after the Civil War and through Reconstruction. Um, there are a couple of, of authors that become famous from this period of time, and um, Stephen Crane is one of them. He's an American um, writer, and he wrote a very famous book from this time called The Red Badge of Courage, and it's the view of a civil war through the eyes of a soldier. And then um, we have Mark Twain that comes in and um, starts writing. His actual name was Samuel Clemens. Oh, we, we always see pictures of him, and he kind of looks like Colonel Sanders from um, KFC. So um, that's kind of the way everybody pictures him. And um, he actually is one of the first writers to embrace um, a movement known as realism, where he was actually writing about things that were happening or could happen in real life. So he's kind of one of the earliest historical fiction writers in America. And he also was probably the first to actually write to entertain children. Up until this time, writing really wasn't for that purpose so much. There could have been odd uh, pieces here or there that was written for children for entertainment. But um, up until that time, writing for entertainment just really wasn't a thing. So we can thank Mark Twain for getting that whole movement started of, oh, it's going to be fun to read this. And um, his most famous works you probably might recognize would be Tom Sawyer and um, Huckleberry Finn. Um, you know, there's an, there's an attraction at Disney World. Tom Sawyer's Island. Um, but anyway, I digress. But there were also some famous American poets as well. And Walt Whitman, you may hear his name. Um, he was writing um, a lot of different, a new form of poetry um, that was uniquely American. And he wrote a series of poems called Poems for a Democracy. So he was actually commenting on what was going on politically. But I want to read to you one of Walt Whitman's poems, and this is probably mm, the most famous poem of his, and it was written uh, on the occasion of Lincoln's death, Abraham Lincoln's death, and he is referring to Abraham Lincoln as our captain. It's not a very long poem, but... Um, Walt Whitman was like the people's poet, and he was speaking about the feelings that people were having after Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. So um, this is Captain, My Captain by Walt Whitman. Captain, my captain, our fearful trip is done. He's comparing Lincoln's life and Lincoln's life as the leader of the country during the Civil War as a fearful trip. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. What he's talking about is America was the ship and 
the prize that we wanted was won. We won the ability for our country to come back together after the Civil War. The port is near, the bells I hear, the people all exulting. Exulting is like celebrating. While follow eyes the steady keel, the vessel grim and daring. But, O oh, heart, 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 O oh, the bleeding drops of red, where on the deck my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead. Kind of depressing at the end there. But he's basically saying, Lincoln, you are my captain. Our trip is done. The ship weathered the the rack, the the country weathered this war. The prize we sought is won. The port is near. That means the trip is almost over. And um, you know, you're lying there on the deck, fallen cold and dead. So that's one of his um most famous poems. Um, a lot of the, the poetry during this time really um, was not as, as child-friendly and fun and uplifting as you might want, but um, literature in America after this point really starts to take off. More authors are writing um, more authors are writing for entertainment. You're going to see more poetry. Um, the uh, Industrial Revolution made printing um, books and, and newspapers and magazines much, much more available. So you're going to see a lot more literature being developed after the Civil War. Bye.